Okay, so we are live now. What's up, folks? Okay, in I I I think there are a lot of people that are still not convinced that this market is uh, turning towards the upside. So in this video, I think I'm gonna really have to drive it home and push people in the right direction because I think I think um, in the past. A lot of the uh, the folks who were who were coming in are watching the are watching are watching YouTubers as uh, the the main source, and then as more and more um, financial analysts and you know rating companies are now starting to come out and put their put their name to uh, to the blockchain and cryptocurrency space, the the information is pretty divided, occasionally occasionally pretty neutral. And it becomes this whole, um, it, it, it becomes a little bit messy because at, at the time, back in 2017, there were only so few of us who were providing quality information. And of course, when I mean quality, means that there were folks who were really uh, experienced in managing funds. There were only so few folks who were genuinely trading uh, five to six figures on their own. And they were only, and they were even lesser that were trading a million dollars and above, okay. And there will be a small pool that will be from the private equity space, for example, Cedric Dahl, who has been a VC for quite a while, Miko Matsumura, um, you know, you have your Andreas Antonopoulos, uh, you have your uh, uh, Anthony Pompliano's, okay. So Mike Novogratz, so and so forth, yada yada yada. But there were so few that could really relate to the, to the Bostons and Bettys. And so that's where I came in. Because I realized the Boston and Bettys, they kind of need that additional nudge. And the problem with the Boston and Bettys is this. They need too much assurance. So much so that, that us content creators or those who genuinely want to provide viable information, most could not really could not really share that information because even if we did would you even think on that level or even understand that level of information now i'm not insulting anyone's level of intelligence it's more of the fact that you all are not familiar with how financial markets work or how the capital markets work so right now when we are now at this new era where yes the btc prices have gone up Yes, you notice that your, your coins that were sitting in your portfolio for quite some time are starting to move. So you're, you're kind of wondering, okay, that's great. Whatever I put in there is now not losing as much. It's starting to, in fact, maybe look a little bit more positive. I'll probably have to wait for, for it to break back to even or profit a little bit and then I'll get out. See, this is what most people think because having an 18-month uh, bear market, okay? 18 months is a long time for, for quite a number of people. So there will be the folks who will be, you know what? I kind of still believe that this whole market is still genuinely bullish. I'll sit around and I don't want to add any more of my position, right? Because uh, I kind of committed a little bit too much or, or too early, or sorry, I committed a little bit too much too late. That was obviously when BTC was starting to tank aggressively and the whole market just, just collapsed in that sense and you know you, you you kind of feel that sense of relief right now but you don't have the additional confidence to really go back in because you you suddenly your enthusiasm just died overnight so let me just sh let me just put this out there for those who are sitting at the sidelines or those who didn't add aggressively into your position whether or not you're going after life-changing profits whether or not you take this space seriously, whether or not you're really interested to make money or not, I, I really don't care. Because I am only here to tell you that I am here to make huge gains in this market. And it's going to happen. It's going to happen. And not only that, when I come out with the I told you so video, a lot of folks will be like, great Ryan, you did it, you deserve it. You see, the thing is, I don't like to do those kind of videos because I prefer the Bostons and the Bettys to celebrate. They are able to 
you know, go out there and start buying their homes without any loans. They are able to buy a car for their 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 parents. You know, uh, they are able to fund their 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 uh, their children's education in full without taking a loan. They are able to renovate their home. They are able to go for that long awaited holiday that they never had the chance to take because every time the finances were too tight and they could never ever meet you know all these financial liabilities that's when i feel the most sense of satisfaction and of course these folks never need to thank me they never need to you know send me any emails they don't need to do anything because like i said the whole idea was to provide the information so that people can act but the the thing is too many people need a lot of comfort and assurance and guarantees. You're getting the information for free. You're getting the information for free. Let me repeat that a few times so that you kind of drive it home. There is no obligations right here. And I'm speaking to you, Boston, and I'm speaking to you, Betty. If you need a lot of assurance, right, there are a few ways. One, you can be a client. You can be a private client where I can really run you through the whole risk analysis aspect, your risk analysis. From there, we cover your full financial liabilities. And then after that, we'll make a calculated decision on how much you need to put into the market. Now, that's not a guarantee. It's just more of an assurance, okay? Hear the, hear the terms correctly. There's no such thing as a guaranteed profit in this market because there's always a, there's always a chance that BTC will correct. But right now, I'm very assured that I'm going to make money. The question is, do you have enough information for you to make money? And that's, that's the thing. And a lot of, a lot of uh, YouTubers right now don't dare to pull the trigger hard because they're just worried that right now the level, right? See, here, here's the, the, the general YouTube content. Oh, 8,000 uh, BTC has just hit 8,000 levels. It is a very crucial resistance level, guys. If BTC doesn't cross, fuck, fuck that. Fuck that. Seriously, when it was 3,200, where were you all? When, when clearly I put the content out there for everyone to watch, there was no restrictions. Where, were, where, were, where was the Bostons and the Bettys? So you all were all listening to the, the hyped up YouTubers that were asking you to wait for 1,000, 2,000? Great. You should unsub. You know? Yeah, you should unsub. In fact, you should unsub from my channel and follow those guys. You see? So that at least, right, when you miss the market, at least you know where to blame. You know where to fire. So anyway, those who did follow, congratulations, you're now on your way to actually paying off some serious debt. Or you're on your way to making life-changing profits. You owe it to yourself. And I do notice that. So I want to take some ownership. I want to take some responsibilities, as they say. That right now, if you don't get in, and you're still waiting for the $6,000 level. That means you don't, even, you don't even have the balls to pull the trigger to get in. Just get in. Just, just get in, right? I think you really need to just quit and, you know, just, just quit. Not, not even touch any kind of financial opportunity because you need too much assurance. You need people to kind of, you know, oh, oh, don't worry. You're going to really make money soon. I guarantee it. Look. The market is not your mother. The market is not your mother. I'm not your mother. I'm not your father either. But I know for a fact that if you want to make money, you need to grow some balls, you know? And, and right now, the altcoin season is going to kickstart. I don't care whether BTC is going to drop to 6,005, 6,008. Get in. Pull the trigger, guys. Pull the trigger. Allocate some funds to it. Because right now, the trade war, okay, it's going to stall the stock market. Listen up. Now it's real, real time. Now it's real time information here. Okay. A little bit of rants, but real time information here. The trade war at the moment has stalled. So the stock market is definitely going to dip and probably trend sideways because there was no scheduled uh, trade war talks going forward. So there's now not enough market anticipation. If you want to see what's the equivalent, that's like our Bitcoin ETF approval or, or BAC going to launch. Right now, our space is going to start picking up. There will be this low period for the next two to three months for you to collect enough funds so that you can put it in. And if you don't, right, and if you don't have enough uh, liquidity or you don't have enough 
the uh, enough of a time horizon, okay, then obviously you have to go and sort yourself out. Because this was the whole problem. And I'm going to share, I'm going to talk to you as if like you're having a consultation today. The reason why a lot of folks cannot find true financial freedom is because they never ever took the time to learn. They never took the, they never bothered to pick up a financial book, learn from someone else on how to manage money professionally. And even if you don't even understand 50% of what the book says, right? At least you bothered to take a weekend to a few weekends to go and learn, to try to understand. And not always assume that there's an easy way to make money. There's no such thing as an easy way to make money. But if you are genuinely interested to learn, you should have gone to, you know, speak to someone. Speak to someone who, who, who you can trust. And I, and I realize that that is also a very difficult thing. Who can you trust? Ryan, I live in a small town. None of them, they are all either, um, you know, guys who just uh, go to work Mondays to Fridays and love hanging out Friday evenings at the bar all the way through Sunday. And then after that, they go to work again. I don't have anyone. That could be true in some occasions. That could be true. And, and, and I guess YouTube could potentially be that that, 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 that place where you can find that information, where you can find people like myself, or you can find someone who you can relate to. It doesn't have to be me, guys, right? If you guys are more inclined to find someone who, who can speak your slang or whatever, go ahead. But the whole idea here is that the financial goals will always be the same. Whether or not it's towards education, towards retirement, towards paying off a mortgage, towards uh, uh, buying a big ticket item, building your portfolio, building a business. The content across the board, whether is it international, whether it's in your language or not in your language, it's always the same. Just have a full suite because you cannot just rely on one aspect and no one should rely on one aspect. For example, if you feel that my views are you know, sometimes biased, you can always watch someone else. You can always consume information across the social media across the social media platforms. You cannot be lazy guys. The reason why I sleep so little is not on purpose, but because I have trained myself that information is important. Without the right information, how am I confidently going to put money into the market? Fair enough? So you should approach it in that way. If you want to upgrade yourself from the Boston and Betty level to the experienced trader level or the experienced investor level, you want to get away from that tier, you really need to step it up. Even if, even if you have to drive to another state that does have an active, you know, investor group, investor club, do it, do it, you know, if you need to be convinced to speak to the right people in your circle or in your country, and you have to drive a few miles, even sometimes maybe an hour or two, just to get to that club. Don't make it as an excuse that, oh, I have to drive one and a half hours. Don't you drive one and a half, don't you drive an hour to two hours of work some, at, uh, to work sometimes? Don't you do that every day so that you can get one paycheck at the end of the month? Why can't you do that so that you can potentially get another paycheck for yourself? And this additional paycheck, by the way, is enough for you to, and if you do it on a consistent basis and you get enough of these paychecks, you could potentially you could potentially not have to work. You see, there are things that happen on a regular basis. There are opportunities in different financial markets or asset classes all the time. But people tend to get too comfortable. And I'm not even asking you to start a new business. I'm just teaching you or at least sharing with you. See, we have to use the nice words so that more people will watch, you see. I, I realize that, yeah, you have to use the nice words. So when you share information or you have clubs or people who are willing to share, see the Boston and the Bettys will, will suddenly start, oh, you know, uh, uh, I, I feel more convinced now. You know, I, I feel the courage to start putting in money into the market, you know, and, and, and that's the way it has to be. It really has to be that way because right now the whole market is starting to turn, guys. Whether, whether is it going to take six months to another year before we see the new highs, 
That means the longer the market is undecided, the more opportunities you guys can get in. What are you all doing? You know, you know the one thing that I really don't want to hear, and don't please don't 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 even reply to my tweets if if you don't do anything in the next six to twelve months. Don't don't even reply. Don't even watch my channel. You really should unsubscribe because it's very frustrating. You know what was the most frustrating? When I start talking about the the result, there's there will be people. Okay, and I and appreciate the, these people who are watching my content, but there will be people who will comment, Oh, Ryan, I should have listened to you. Wow, that really makes my blood boil. Because that loss of opportunity is not mine. Because I was in. But it was yours. Because I don't know whether that opportunity could have meant anything for you. You see, that, that's, that's, what, that's what I feel the most pain. Because I called it but you, you didn't pull the trigger because you're still sour about some other uh, 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 thing that I mentioned the last time. And if you f and you're that kind of person, honestly, you shouldn't watch my channel either because you're not mature enough. You're still in the Boston Betty category. So don't watch my channel because I'm way too advanced for you. That's, that's, that's just, 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 just put it out there. I'm really way too advanced. See? I'm not here to talk about technical analysis all the time because technical analysis is only one aspect. There are other aspects of information that a lot of you don't have. And that is speaking to the heads or speaking to the people who are moving the markets. See, that's the point. That is the whole idea. Why, why listen to this guy? Why, 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 why listen to this guy who is you know, wearing a black t-shirt all the time with messy hair who just woke up from his sleep and just drank some tea? By the way, I'm going to have some tea, by the way. So yeah, the, the whole point is this. Well, I hope that you all got a bit of a nudge, got you a little bit rattled, got you a little bit triggered. Maybe there's going to be lots of likes. Maybe there's going to be a lot of dislikes. I really don't care. But as long as you do something about it and this video, this video kind of pushed you in the right direction to maybe make you a little bit more invigorated and bullish, you should do it. See you guys in the next stream.